Welcome to another video of Phoenix Models Reviews and today we're going to unbox yet another model and I can promise you it's a really really nice model. I want this model for such a long time and I'm really excited that I've finally got it. It's um I don't want to spoil you or maybe you can you have seen the title already. Um Yes, so you probably already know, but let's keep it for this video. I bought this model on Arcunia because everywhere it was sold out, like uh, everywhere in Switzerland it was sold out, everywhere. And I thought, okay, I had to get the last one because um, I really want this model so badly. <laughs> because, as you know, uh, I told in an earlier video I wanted this model and now I got it. Now. First of all, or let's say second of all, um, sorry for my long absence of video. I just haven't bought any models, to be honest, any new models, and I don't know what videos I should do. I uploaded the trip report, uh, Swiss versus Emirates, so if you like, check this one out, because I thought it was pretty good. It's a bit long, I know, but it's pretty good. So there we have it, guys. So I can't show, can't show you the bottom of the box because uh, there is my address and everything. Here's some package chips. This is pretty good. I like that he does this, like the owner of Arcunia. To be honest, I saw a comment. Oh, Arcunia is not good. Mm, I think they just are. They just got very expensive over time. Oh. So and let's hope the model didn't break or so. Okay, here's some probably the bill. And there we have it guys, let's get this away, this is only disturbing. So what I like, he always puts it in this uh, bubble wrap. To be honest, he could make it just cheaper and leave the bubble wrap out because his prices were uh, got always higher and higher. So yeah, for me, I don't buy regularly anymore from Arcunia. I prefer now the Swiss store even though it's not the best but uh, come on. So here we have it. It's Airbus A380 Korean Air. Finally guys. Finally. I can only say this guys. Finally I got it. And the box pretty nice. Pretty nice. Here we have some Korean house I guess. It's probably a typical Korean house. Looks pretty nice. In this kind of rainforest forest here. Um, yeah, looks pretty nice actually. Wait, let me show this to you. This looks amazing, this house. I don't know why what those four things are here, but um, this looks amazing. And then the front, we have, I think it's probably a Korean house as well, or temple, I don't know. Correct me when I'm wrong, I think I have some subscribers from South Korea. Oh, by the way, guys, yeah, just to remember, when I say Korea, I mean South Korea, not North Korea. So, don't, uh, how should I say, don't be mad when I say Korea, just Korea, because when I talk about Korea, for me, it's obvious that it's South Korea and not North Korea. Okay, let's open the box. Oh, I try to open the box very carefully, you know, I don't want to break the box, I want to keep it, so that's why I try to open it very carefully. Oh, and I saw the, the blue, nice. Oh, guys. Ooh, ooh, it looks amazing. Oh my god, it really looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. I'm happy. By the way, this won't be my last unboxing. I bought another model from the September month, I think it was. The 747 secretly released 200 uh, Cath. No, well, yeah, it was Cathay Pacific. So um, get ready for this one as well, guys. So just to let you know, little spoiler alert. This is the model, guys. Wow, it looks stunning. And you know, I'm a huge A380 fan, and I really my aim is to have like one day at least one A380 from every uh, airline from Phoenix, like from. I'm missing Air France, I'm missing China Southern, I'm missing British Airways, but the others, I think, more or less, I have them. Ethiad I got. Yeah, but anyways, it doesn't really matter now. So, there we go. By the way, guys, because I was absent for so long, you, get, you have now way more better quality, as you can see. My camera is way better. So that's that's a, that's a huge plus, I think, in my opinion. So sorry for the long waiting. 
but let's go to the one and only famous Zoom part. So, by the way, I forgot to mention the registration as usual. It's HL76278. Okay, interesting registration. There we go. We have some Korean letters here at the bottom of the first exit here. I think it might be the name of the plane, to be honest, but I can't read any Korean, so no chance for me to uh, to say what this might be. Next up, we have the Sky Team logo, as you can see here, because Korean Air is a member of the Sky Team Alliance. Um, Sky Team is pretty nice, but to be honest, I'm a Star Alliance fan, let's say it this way, but uh, yeah, we don't need to talk about this now. Afterwards, we have the Korean Air font. Um, yeah, looks pretty bold, pretty cool. Um, for me, I only have seen the 777 of Korean Air so far in real life, but the A380 must be, look, uh, must be looking great in those bright blue colors. There we go, here after the Korean font, nothing special. Uh, I will show you the engines of course as well. Then we have the, the tail. We have the tail with the beautiful Korean logo, Korean Air logo. These are the, the colors of the flag of Korea, so I like this pretty much. It's like a mix of the red and blue dots with the white in it, so that's pretty cool. Um, to me, I don't know why, but for me it, it reminds me a bit of Pepsi, the, the logo, but um, yeah, I shouldn't think about this. It's a bit insulting when I say this to me. Yeah, let's say it this way. I think it's not good when I say this. <laughs> so, let's turn... Let's show you the model from the front quickly. Not too special. You see pretty much the engines here. And uh, the silver is pretty nice. So I think they got the colors pretty accurate as well. I don't know. It's always difficult to tell if the color is accurate or not, but... It look maybe it's a bit on the darker side, maybe, but maybe it was also a bit uh, faded from the sun when I saw the triple seven. So, yeah, I don't care too much about this. Let's go to the engine, guys. The engines. There we go. Finally, we have the engines focused. Here, not too special. We have the the uh, the Korean Air logo as a sticker on the engine. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I really like the stickers on engines in general, so that's cool. Um, I don't know which engines they used, probably the Rolls Royce, but I'm not sure which one, if they used the Trend 970 or the Trend 900, I really don't know. So these are the engines, they look pretty, pretty good, I need to say. They look awesome. Very detailed and also, I'm I'm not sure, but I'm... I'm not sure why, but I, I think I have the feeling that somehow the, the quality has improved of this model. It looks like now it looks like the, the paint is more precise, how should I say? So that's pretty nice. Next up we have the winglet here. I hope I can focus. Okay, I think it's still focusing on the engine and a bit on the box. But here we have the winglet, more or less it's not... Ah, there we go. Okay, because it's so tiny my camera really struggles to focus the winglet. But um, here you can see the winglet again with a sticker, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, same on the other side, of course, and uh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next part, and this is these are the wings. We have a registration on the wing. I think it's usual for Asian carriers to have a registration on the wing. Um, usually also on the right side, so that's pretty interesting. But I think just on one side. So we have the registration here again. As you can see or can't see now because it's so out of focus. HL7627. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, next up we go directly to the bottom of the airplane. Here we go. Uh, we have the usual rolling gears. Um, they also seem a bit more 
yeah, they seem better in my opinion. I'm not sure if you can see this quite well here. Okay, it's very difficult to show this here, but I think they improved the, the rolling gears, like they look more realistic. Um, I have to say, like my last model I bought from Phoenix, this was some years ago, or not some years, but I think maybe one, one and a half year ago. But I think they really improved the rolling gears. They look um, more detailed, more real. Um, it's very difficult to show on camera, to be honest, because my camera uh, doesn't really like to focus too much. But um, guys, it's amazing, really. This model is amazing and I'm happy that I got it, really. It's um, really, really cool and I'm happy I got the last one. So even though it was pretty expensive with shipping for just one model, but... Um, yeah, it's amazing. Here, ah, now you can see it probably. There we go. Yeah, you can see it's a bit more detailed here, especially the rolling gear. Um, yeah, the antennas here is here as well, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, I like this model a lot, to be honest. For me, I think it will fit perfectly in my collection of A380s. And I'm very, very glad I got this model, really. It's so amazing, it looks really cool, really nice and um, I think the mold has improved as well over time from Phoenix or at least the last year since I've seen my last model from Phoenix I think they really improved the mold so that's always great to see and I'm really looking forward to the 747-200 of Cathay Pacific in the old livery with the um, brushed aluminum I think it is or the brushed uh, metal, I don't know what they call it again, I forgot to be honest, but hey, guys, this model, maybe we turn the box to the correct side, so we have it better, this model is awesome, guys. I hope you liked this video, if so, please give me a thumbs up, would be awesome, subscribe if you haven't, and then we'll see you soon again, your Phoenix Mods Reviews.